So worth skipping class. Do you hate me for it? Prof was so scary. <laughs> it is Sunday, November 19th, and yeah, I'm doing my assignment. I've been up since like 5.45, there's so much to do. I feel like there are certain professors that at the end of this term, they're like, teach the class this subject or like this one topic. And I'm like, how am I supposed to in like two weeks? know every single thing about this one subject that you have been studying your whole career. Okay, I don't know, I think I'm just complaining, but my group was doing like the opioid crisis and I'm like, in a 40 minute presentation, we cannot encapsulate the full nuanced story of the entire opioid crisis timeline and policy interventions and solutions. Yeah, and the prof is like kind of scary, a little bit stressful. Hello, everybody. It's been a very busy <clears throat> My throat. It's been a busy like week and a half, but I'm just gonna give some updates because like school's going by so fast that I haven't really vlogged. I successfully finished my group presentation. We were so freaking scared because the prof was so scary. Because during the presentation, she would be like commenting out loud. I don't, I don't know. You know what? I don't want to like bash on her, but yeah, we were all really nervous that she was going to kind of like call us out or be like, this makes no sense or ask us a question that like is too hard for us to answer. The TA asked me a question that was so like high level policy, not even policy. It was literally like, how are we going to get the universities to stop partner partnering with pharmaceutical companies? Like, how are we going to put legal regulation in that area if both sides are actually like not down to do that but my point was that like because both sides are not down to do that like we need legal regulation from the government to like mediate that relationship so that those conflicts of interest don't continue to like exist but then the question was like how like but i was just like i don't know we just regulate it legally like i don't know it would have already been done if we, it could happen right prof was just like i want to hear what you think but i won't dock marks if you're not able to answer because it's a very challenging question i really didn't have an answer i just reiterated what i said in my presentation and then one of my roommates came in and like she like saved me thank you kaya blessed afterwards apparently she said like we did well i left like i blasted out of that classroom because i was like i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna forget about this whatever my face was like so red from presenting apparently like she actually enjoyed our presentation so i was kind of like dang i could not tell from her <laughs> response and reaction to it and then i did my french oral exam the next day which went decently i didn't really prepare for it because i was preparing for the group presentation i was like preparing for another thing that was right after the french oral exam and that french oral exam was like the lowest of my priorities i have been cruising through this course because everything i learned in high school already it's kind of blessed like i've forgotten a lot of the things i learned because it was like so long ago but because i actually really enjoyed french in high school it's like fresh it, i mean it's not fresh but it's like coming back to me next i had a headshot shoot so i did like 30 people's headshots for my friend's lab and and honestly, it was less tiring than I thought. Like I was able to take 30 something people's photos within two and a half hours, except I was like, oh shoot, this is gonna take me forever to edit. Like I forgot that editing is gonna take me so much longer than that. So we'll see, it's fine. I'm gonna do it over the next week. But I was more nervous for that than for the for oral exam. I had a work shoot, which was really fun because we went to the forestry building. I had no idea U of T had like publicly accessible greenhouses that you can go to and see plants. So my coworker, Alina, she took us, um, took me and Miriam who have never been there and like apparently she just sometimes goes and eats her lunch and that was like so cool so she like um showed us the plants she showed us there's this like area with turtles so warm in there of course it's a greenhouse it's so warm in there i was like this is where i need to come in the winter to like remind myself that warm weather is like a real thing yeah and then we interviewed this like lettuce farm basically they're like 3d print engineering these like biopolymers i don't know what i'm talking about but it's like biopolymers that like replace soil the lettuce is able to grow in water and so it's like really insane like i don't even know but it's like so sustainable and insane and then they basically supply the lettuce for uft catering which i thought was like so cool they were connected with that uft hatchery so very cool that was fun and then friday was also our worship night just to like talk about a little bit of what i've been learning i guess in terms of my relationship with god this week was a little hard because i think start starting last week i started seeing how much doubt i have in my heart like i always struggled with doubt but like doubt got so loud that it actually made me forget about all of the things that i was so sure that the lord had done and i think friday that was kind of the message that the lord was giving me was just like to remember what he's done i think i was so 
trying to figure everything out and i always find myself coming back to the realization that i don't have to have everything figured out i don't have to fully understand in order to trust but i lose that so quickly because i'm so prone to return to like my old habits of thought i was just praying and then i was like you know what i need to hold on to what i've already learned what i've already had clarity in and what i've already learned through the experiences in my life i was like oh yeah I already do know that I can't be satisfied with anything in this world. Like I already do know that in the depth of my despair, in the depth of my anxiety, nothing was able to pull me out of it but the Lord. Like I, when I relied on God, when I surrendered that to the Lord, he started to work in my life or I started to see the ways he was working in my life. I've already tried other things that didn't help me. I think I'm still in that where I'm like, okay, Lord, like help me to hold, hold on to what you have reminded me of. Oh, also I have some like B-roll footage. So uh, I'm just gonna add also yesterday, I also um, met up with my friend Alex at Cover Notes and it was like so such a great time just to like catch up with her and see her and I also got to talk about Christianity because she had a lot of questions and she was just had such an you know when you meet someone and they're just so warm you feel safe around them like Alex is definitely someone I just feel so safe around I just felt so comfortable like I felt like oh she's not gonna judge me for like what I talk about I think that's pretty rare in people and so I was very very thankful and then I went to a GMM music video shoot. It was freezing outside, but it was so fun. It was just like great to see people. Like that was also a reminder from God how far he has brought me because on my way, I was like, God, when I'm there today, please just help me be myself. Because I know this was such a big thing that I struggled with where I was so scared to like meet people in general because I didn't even know who I was. And I was like, how do I even act? So hyper aware of like what I'm doing and saying and acting. And so I was like, you know what? This is crazy that I can go to this without like extreme anxiety. There's like an only there that I really, really also like like she's very very sweet and she's like helped me feel so comfortable at gmm it's always so nice when i, I don't know she also feels very safe yeah feeling very thankful I'm actually feeling very thankful i think i've forgotten recently because i got so used to this new state of like not being anxious every day that i kind of forgot like what the lord has actually brought me out of praise the lord okay bye <laughs> Okay, today's my grad photo. I have to do my makeup real fast because um, Loki woke up late. Not really. I woke up at 6.20. I mean, 6.10. It's not really late. It's just that. It's just that I'm so tired, Lord. Pray for strength. Pray for physical strength today. I'm actually dead. Yeah, so today is my grad photo. Isn't that kind of crazy? Like graduating, that's so weird. Yesterday at, at UC, I ran into someone who asked me if I like make YouTube videos. And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, I convinced her oh you convinced me to go to U of T and every time I hear something like that I'm like mm -mm, like do you hate me for it <laughs> but then she was like no like I don't regret it it's definitely vigorous and hard but like she's glad she came here um anyway so I am graduating next spring and so I have declared my intent to graduate on acorn I actually had a photo shoot with my friend yesterday and so I woke up really early again and did go downtown early too thankfully my dad's gonna drop me off at Eglinton West I mean I wish Shepherd West I have a like, final exam next Thursday Day. I have a paper due on Mon sort of Monday-ish. It's because I have a writing center appointment on Monday. I might cancel it because the actual paper is due next Saturday. And then I have another thing due on Tuesday. And I have work due this Friday. I have work video due this Friday, which I'm literally just going to do on Friday. Sometime next week, I have another video due. And then I have, a he I have headshots to edit that I'm trying to get in by Friday as well. And it's Wednesday, guys. So we really don't have many days. Okay, well, I'll just talk to you after. I'm at work right now. 
Everyone was so sweet today, telling me that they love what I look like today. I was like, oh yeah, I went to get my grad photo taken. And they're like, oh my gosh. So thanks to Rach for doing my hair this morning. She was like half asleep, but I'm just at the office. We just came back from our final Joe's Basketball Diary shoot, which is like so sad. Lots of behind the scenes bureaucracy, I think. That is why it is the end of the Like this is the last one. Good afternoon. No, it's the night. Good night. That's weird that you can say good morning and then start talking, but if you say good night, it's like the end of the sentence. Like, I'm not gonna be like, good night. Now I'm gonna talk about, right? Anyway, today was a really long day. So was yesterday. And so I didn't get enough sleep the last few days. So I'm actually gonna skip my morning class tomorrow and just sleep in because I think if I don't sleep in tomorrow, I'm gonna get sick or like my brain's gonna stop working and I'm not gonna be productive for like literally the rest of the week. Today, after Joe's basketball diaries, I went to, I had a nosebleed at work. Man. But I went to meet up with my friend Isaac where he works at MedSci and then came up to North York Library We did some work. Uh, we met up with Brendan. I just like edited some of the headshots that I need to be editing Yeah, we got pho. We wanted to like eat something yummy Pho is always good. Isaac got accepted to Wycliffe for MDiv So we were very 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 happy He literally did his interview today and he got accepted today Like literally I feel like it was so just like blessed. Yeah, so blessed and so, so happy for him Overall, I was very 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 thankful today. Yeah, and just remembering the God that's always been, that's always been with me. Tomorrow we also have a worship night at our church, so I'm also gonna like prepare for that. That's kind of it. I guess. Good night. Good morning. It's Thursday. My eyes are so puffy. My eyes always get so like, you see this? Every time I cry. Every time I cry. I don't like, it's just like, I will never be able to hide it. I realize it's so worth, like, don't take this advice if you're like a first year student, but like, it's so worth skipping class if you're going to be more productive in the other hours, especially if you commute. Because I was just thinking, like, I would leave at 8.30 for my 10 a.m. So I'm waking up at 7.30, right? So like counting all the hours from that, like 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 30, 11, 30 and a half. So like four and a half hours and then the commute back. So like, it's kind of like five, six hours to just, go to one two hour class I, today i woke up at like nine and i practiced some worship in the morning for today's worship night i had my breakfast i read the bible organized my schedule for tomorrow and editing right now and it's only 11 so pretty crazy this is me justifying me skipping class but honestly it was the last class and i think i already got my participation marks in the other classes and so it was pretty worth it in my opinion anyway good morning my hair is a mess